Okay, I'm just going to show you how I do a little bit of uh, removing the paint. If you look over here at this one, I just did that one with some heat. And that was all loose paint. And then, um, where's the finger? Oh, on that ledge, it's been all treated with the wood hardener. So now, I'll just go back here and I'll have a little go at that. See what I do, how far I have to go. Looks like a big lump of filler, starting with this one to begin with. A little warm up thing. I'm trying to blow the stuff over that away. When you see it bubble up, you're already pretty much going to have to it off. And now I want to get on the top of this thing. I'm going to turn it down one to one instead of two. I don't want much more of this paint coming off over here. But I want to get enough off the top so I can give it a good soak with the wood hardener. Just remember that that's very hot and this thing here is very hot now. It's been sitting in the hot air. I laid one on the ground a little while ago and then I put my hand down on it briefly. So just remember it's hot. Okay, well right now, all I want to do now is get some uh, some wood hardener in this and then I think I'll fiddle around with the well actually where's the hammer I can see um, that the, the caulking or the glazing compound needs to get repaired down here in the bottom or it looks like it did anyway these angles to cut the angle in that corner is pretty good. You need to cut it. That's not too bad actually. So we just take a razor blade or something now and scrape that off.
fairly happy with that. Not as much of a chore as the other one was. So I got my got my headphones on and say hi folks. Hi folks. <laughs>